In this new video, I'd like to talk to you about finding a y-intercept from a graph. Now up to this point, we've looked at finding y-intercepts from tables, and although there are many ways to do this, a shortcut we've talked about in class is to identify when there's an x in the, I'm sorry, when there's a zero in the x column, the value in the y column is going to be your y-intercept. So with this table of values and this pattern, 9 should be our y-intercept. If we were to graph this, just to demonstrate this, negative 1, 4, is right here, 0, 9 is about right here, and 114 would be over 114, though I'm not going to have room to graph my last piece. If I would come down through here and draw the best straight line I can manage, what I would notice is that my orange line touches my y axis at point 9, which is the same as what my table of values tells me. What that suggests to me is whether I see a table of values and I find a 0 and x and I choose my y or whether I'm looking at a graph and looking for the point where my line touches the y, y axis I can find my y intercept. To try to show this more clearly take a look quickly at four different examples. In the first one I have my x axis and my y axis my linear function has been graphed and it looks like it hits at two spaces above the origin, so b or my y-intercept is simply 2. That's all there is to it. Over here, I see it, the line touches at two points, but the first point it touches is the x-axis. The second point it touches at is the y-axis. That's the one that I want. Since it touches down here at 2, b again is 2. You'll notice that, oh, I made a mistake, this one's negative 2 because it's below the origin. So it is important to notice whether it's above or below, like in this case. Down here in my third example, I have the line crossing at 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces above the origin, so B is 4. And this unique one, my line crosses the origin exactly at the origin, so I'm going to go ahead and put my y-intercept is 0. So as you can see, the y-intercept can be easily found by simply finding out where your line crosses the y-axis. Count up or down from your origin, and that number will be your y-intercept.